Hello, my name is Sorosh Dachnes. Um, I'm a professor here for photogrammetry and robotics at the University of Bonn. And I would like to start with the first block in the lecture 3D coordinate systems. So this course here is taught by all, nearly all groups at our institute. And the key idea is to provide you with the basic knowledge about coordinate systems that are commonly used within the individual groups. So you will have in this lecture here multiple lecturers and in this way also get to know most of my colleagues and every one of them teaches approximately 90 to 120 minutes and tells you or explains you which coordinate systems are important for their specific area so that you have a good starting point and know the basics that you need in order to, for example, solve homework assignments or solve practical tasks. As a concrete example for my area, which is robotics and photogrammetry, uh, we will look, for example, into basic 2D, 3D coordinates, the Euclidean space. This is something that you probably know already. Um, questions, how can we represent matrices? Rotation matrices are one example, but also other representations, such as the quaternion, um, for example. And then we will look into homogeneous coordinates. This is something that you probably don't know, or at least don't know to um, the extent we will be using it. Um, it's an alternative um, coordinate system to the um, Euclidean space or Euclidean coordinate system that allows us to do certain things in a much more elegant way. And therefore, it's very common in photogrammetry, computer vision, but also in robotics. And one of the key tools that you need in order to um, go through your study program. A few words about the expectations that I have in that course. Um, so the idea of this course is to teach you the basic skills and put you into a situation where you can dive deeper if you need further information for this. So it should be a starting point for understanding um, how we represent objects in space, for example. Uh, so two key things are important here. First, understanding the key concepts. So after this course, you should have an idea what's, let's say, specific about a projective space and what you can do with a projective space in a projective space that you um, are not able to do, at least not that elegantly, in the Euclidean space, for example. So I want to foster that understanding. And at the same point in time, you should be able to apply those concepts, to use them as a tool, for example, when solving homework assignments or when modeling a state estimation task. You need to specify your coordinate systems and the way you represent your variables or your unknowns so that you can do an effective um, estimation or uh, solve an optimization problem in an effective way. And that's also something that I expect you to understand and being able to apply in practice. Um, again, this should be an interactive course where you can ask questions. This is right now a little bit tricky um, during the corona situation or in this corona situation, um, but um, we will have tutorials here where you can ask um, via Zoom or any other conference system um, and ask, ask questions and we are hopefully able to help you out even if you're not around. One important remark is plagiarism. So what we do not accept at all here is plagiarism. That means copying, for example, your homework assignments from um, one of your colleagues. This is an absolute no-go and um, please stick with what you can do yourself. Um, do not copy assignments from someone else. This really um, eliminates the course for you and probably your study program in the long run or as a consequence for that because this is an elementary course that you have to pass in order to go on. Um, a few words about this course. It's a rather short or small course with three credit points. That means an approximate workload of um, 90 hours over the whole term. Um, if we, let's say, assume you do a 30-hour exam preparation, that means there are 60 hours left. Um, we will have one hour of teaching or tutorial um, on a weekly basis, so this gives another 30 hours. That means you have kind of two hours left per week for your homework assignments, just to kind of calibrate you a little bit so that you have an idea how much work you should be um, put into that course or what's kind of our requirement on what you need. Um, a few words about the exercises. Um, these are mandatory homework assignments um, that we give out and then discuss in the exercises. So there will be an event where uh, one of my students or um, students of the other professors are around and help you out and you have to solve your homework assignments um, that we will be handing out on a, um, every week or every second week. Um, and the important thing is it's mandatory that you solve those homework assignments. So every student on his or her own has to solve these assignments and hand them in. There's a deadline on the assignment sheet so that you know when you need to submit it. Um, and this um, is a deadline that you have to um, meet in your homework assignments 
and you need to solve all those homework assignments. In case you don't do that as good as we would like to see them, we will give them back to you and you have to correct them and hand them in again. Approximately two weeks later, that's something that can be um, negotiated on an individual basis given the current situation will be done by um, students supervising this course. So the important thing is you need to solve all the homework assignments here. It's a basic course where we expect all of you to know all the basic things we talk about coordinate systems uh, and therefore you have to solve all those homework assignments which is typically slightly different from other courses where you need to fulfill a certain percentage of points. Here really the key thing is you have to successfully um, solve your homework assignments and once you have that this it allows you to participate in the exam. So the uh, prerequisite for taking the exam, so the uh, exam admission, is that you have 100% accepted homework assignments. And then there will be a written exam at the end of the semester um, and that allows you to pass this. So that's it from my side as a starter. Um, let's get started and dive into coordinate systems. Thank you.